This next exercise, guys, is a um, knee to wall stretch. So this is a really good stretch for rec fem, for your quad muscle, so for the thigh muscle. Um, we're gonna do this in three planes of motion, just like the hip flexor video that I did. So if you haven't seen that and you wanna um, stretch out your hip flexors, check that video out. And this is all three planes of motion. Sometimes if people have knee issues, you might have to put a cushion or a towel or something underneath your knee, especially if you're or here, it's fine because the mat is quite soft. But if you're doing it somewhere harder, then you can get a bit of irritation on the actual knee joint itself. Um, so for this one, we're gonna go against the wall. I'm gonna bring the knee onto the floor, foot up against the wall or pad. Other foot comes forwards. So this is stretching my right quad and rec fem. Then we're gonna do three different things. So number one would be our sagittal plane. So we're gonna lunge forwards, arms are come, gonna come high and then back. Again, squeezing my right bum all the time, create this really big stretch. People don't realize how much of a different stretch this is once you really get that posterior tilt and squeeze your bum. So you do your required reps going straight up with a bit of lunge forwards. Then we're gonna add some transverse plane. So then we're gonna go hands in front, coming forwards and this time rotating around. Again, I'm just rotating as far as I can. Big squeeze, stretch, round. Again, for the amount of repetitions required. Then we're gonna go into our third plane of motion, so our frontal plane. So this time the one arm's gonna come over the top and we're gonna stretch in more of a frontal plane motion. So I'm just side bending over. Just make sure you get a side bend of the body. You're not just bringing the arm over. We actually want that spinal side flexion to really open up that quad. And also you're gonna get then a little bit of oblique. So you're gonna get some hip flexors as you do that as well. So really, really good stretch to open up your hips. Fantastic for low backs, fantastic for knee pain as well, um, to really open up that hip flexor. So do your required reps of each of those three planes of motion, and then you change sides and do it on the, don't do it on the other leg.